Hello and welcome to the Indicator Warehouse. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how to set the parameters and adjust the parameters on your new risk manager for NinjaTrader 8. All right, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, so I've already loaded the risk manager for NinjaTrader 8 onto my chart, and you can see that guy right down here. Now, if you guys watched the first video, you saw that uh, we, of course, do need to enable the risk manager before we can use it. And then uh, there's some adjustability here with your mouse wheel on each one of these buttons here. All right, enough said as far as that goes. So here we go. We're going to go ahead. Let's go in. We're going to right click on the chart. We're going to click on indicators. And I'm going to come down here. I'm going to highlight the IW risk manager right here. All right, so the first thing that I want to discuss is, as you can see here, that we do have a line here for the ATM parameters. Now, you can use any of your ATM strategies. However, the one thing that you need to keep in mind is, is when you do place an order on your chart, it is going to use that strategy. Okay, so the next thing that I want to show you is this. You've got your order parameters right here. Now, down below that, you're going to see it's going to have an account name. The account name needs to match whatever you have over here on Chart Trader. So if I want to switch from, say, Sim 101, maybe to my Top Step Trader account, I've got to make sure I activate and highlight that and then go ahead and click it. And now I'm ready to use my Top Step Trader account. So right below where you have your account name, you're going to see ticks on limit and then ticks on stop. And in this case, it's set to four ticks. Now, before I do that, what I want to do is I want to come down here to my targets and you're going to see that you can manually adjust these targets right here if you like. So I'm going to put my first target at 20 ticks. I'm going to put my second target at say 50 ticks. And then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to change my third target to 60 ticks for argument's sake. I'm going to go ahead in here and I'm going to adjust. I'm going to click apply to have it take effect. Click OK. All right. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and crank the risk up and we we'll see if we get a couple more contracts on there. You know, I'm just going to leave it to where I can buy two. You see, I turned that up to 3% and it allows me to now buy two in accordance with my risk. All right, so back to the ticks on stop and the ticks on the limit orders. I'm going to go ahead and I want to make a buy limit order right here. I'm going to click that. And then you're going to see right here it's placed my order, but it placed it four ticks below initially where price was. Now, to change that, all you simply have to do is, again, go back into indicators, highlight risk manager. And if you want to change that to zero ticks, 10 ticks, it's really up to you. The reason that we did that is, is when you do place the order, it gives you a little bit of a chance to move it around if necessary. For this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and leave it set to four. Right below that, you're going to see our risk parameters. You're going to see that it's currently set to 2%, or if you like, you can adjust it on the button with your mouse wheel, or let's say you consistently want to do 2.5% risk. We'll go ahead and add that, and then we're going to go ahead and click apply. Now, right below that, you're going to see you've got an account balance. Now, this has got an initial balance of $10,000. My top step combine has a $50,000 account size, so I'm going to go ahead and change that so it matches. Go ahead and click apply to get it to take effect as well. Here it's going to tell me the maximum number of contracts that I can trade as well as the minimum. For this here, you can change that number again to whatever number you like. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at 10 for this demonstration. There's nothing we need to do with the horizontal line tag, the initial stop on ticks, and the initial stop on the ATR multiple. Um, the ATR multiple in this case would always start out as 3. Let's say we want to change that to 3.5. And then for the initial stop in ticks, that's where we control the amount of ticks. If we're just placing an order based on, say, 10, 15, 20, 30 tick stop, what have you, let's go ahead and this is the NQ. I'm going to use 20 ticks for an initial stop. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to click Apply. And that way it takes effect. I already showed you guys here how to adjust your targets right down here with your ticks on your targets, target one, target two, and 
target three. And again, you can change these numbers to whatever you like. Now, right above that though, we've got this here where it says target basis. And that's basically like it says here, the target distance basis and it's the ticks or risk multiple. So it's gonna do one or the other. In this case, I've got ticks selected, so it's automatically gonna place trades, 20, 50, and 60 tick profit targets. Now, to change that up here, all you gotta do is drop down to risk multiple, again, click apply, and then it takes effect. So below here, we've got our risk to reward multiples or ratios right here. We've got our first ratio here at 1.5, which I'm gonna go ahead and leave that exactly where it's at. Basically, my profit target is one and a half times greater than what I am risking. So down here for the risk reward multiple for target two, you know, I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna do this one to 2.5. And for the third contract, you know, I'm gonna make that 3.5. And again, always remember to click apply. Next you're gonna see below this is gonna be the target quantity. That's how many contracts you want coming off at each particular target. <clears throat> Let's say we're trading three contracts and we wanna have three separate targets. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna go 0.3. I'm gonna leave this one at 0.3 and for my third target, once again, 0.3. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click apply and that way it takes effect. Well, all right, we've gone through the parameters here. Let's go ahead and let's actually apply what I showed you guys here. Well, all right, so risk manager is currently active and you're gonna see the change here where the risk percentage automatically comes up as two and a half percent. Now you, again, with your mouse wheel, you can make it bigger or you can make your risk smaller. It's really up to you. Just use that mouse wheel in the middle of your mouse. You're gonna notice here where the change took effect on my stop for my ATRs. I went from 3.0 to 3.5. Here's the change that I made to make the default parameter for stop ticks of at least 20 ticks. And again, just use your middle mouse wheel if you wanna lighten that risk up and risk less ticks or you can turn it up and you can risk more. It's really up to you. Again, it's super easy to adjust these things right here on your chart with your middle mouse wheel. So right now I'm currently using the risk multiple. And if you remember what I said earlier, you can change those multiples right here in your parameters. So let's do this. Let's really go for the gold here. Let's change this to a three to one. Let's change target two to a four to one. And then let's take target three and let's go ahead and let's do five to one risk. We're gonna go ahead and click apply. Keep an eye on the little flags there on the hard right edge of the chart there. When I click apply, you can see that those targets are much further away now. And again, remember, if you're just using a tick target as a profit target, that's always going to remain a constant. Well, all right, guys, I hope you found this video to be helpful and informative. If you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to contact us at indicatorwarehouse.com. Thanks and have a great day.